Hey, it's Mike Sinisi. I'm with Massimo Bonzi here at CES 2014, and uh, this is what I'll call the first episode of Geeks in Line to Get Coffee. We're waiting to uh, right. get a couple cappuccinos. <laughs> so, Massimo, how's, uh, how's CES been so far? Oh, it's been pretty cool. It's the first time I come to CES, first time I'm in Vegas. It's crazy. Yeah. It's really crazy. Also, I didn't realize there were like 15 different versions of Fitbit or like 20 different cloud platforms. So it's amazing to see all of this stuff in the same place. Yeah, there's um, definitely some trends that I think on the consumer side, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of curved TVs, uh, yeah. keep hearing about how many um, vacuum cleaning robots there are. Yes. So, but one of the things we're looking at while we're here running around is uh, the concept of is making going mainstream. Yeah. And I think, you know, your presence here is uh, an example of how that is true. But what's, what are you seeing that, that uh, shows that that's the case? Well, I think it's quite interesting that you see people around here that maybe have gone through a Kickstarter so, or an Indiegogo campaign. So they went from an idea to a small sort of uh, the beginning of a company and then they found themselves doing an actual company and now they're here, you know, trying to shift to the next level. So I think uh, it's quite interesting to see this process. You know, yeah. Maybe these people two years ago were just hacking away in their basement and now they're here. So when you founded Arduino, mm -hmm. Did you ever imagine that you'd be at a gigantic convention center in Las Vegas? <laughs> no, actually, no. We never thought that Arduino was going to be something that would be interesting for people to do consumer electronics. But in the end, there's a number of consumer electronic products that have been at least prototyped with Arduino. So it's, I didn't imagine. One of the things that um, we, we talked about a little bit uh, on the site is the Atmel booth. They've got Atmel makers uh, showing off all of the different microcontrollers, you got a great tool wall with pegboard. Um, mm -hmm. That's a really great presence, it's, it's, uh, and that's a, it seems like it's a, been a great partnership for you guys. Yeah, no, we've been working with Atmel processors for years, so you know we have an established relationship. They invite us when there are these kind of events, so it's quite, it's quite nice the fact that they're embracing the maker, uh, the maker movement so much. So yeah. I think it's cool. So have you um, had a chance to run around? South Hall seems like it's got a lot of the, um, the maker-focused uh, creations, um, but I, think, I don't think people realize we're in line here. People keep jumping in. Yes. Um, go ahead, squeeze on through. Thank you. This is the challenge of being in line and doing an interview <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. Um, but uh, have you had a chance to run through South Hall and see some of the some of the things yet? <laughs> Not very much. I've been stuck in meetings for now, but uh, I've been I've seen a lot of the healthcare stuff, and I've been at the 3D printing area, which is like lots of more and more 3D printers all the time. Like right. there's now another company was making a $500 3D printer. So. Right. No, it's going both directions. You got the 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 $500 printers, and then you've got the $23,000 printers that can do injection molded quality prints. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, so beyond um, you know, the, the, the stuff that you've seen, one of the things that you know, we were just talking about I think is really interesting is, is the concept of Kickstarter and how Kickstarter has really transformed consumer electronics and hardware. and. Um, and, and it's, it's, you're, you've already mentioned that you're seeing Kickstarter, uh, your kickstarted companies here. So how do, you, how do you think crowdfunding is going to continue pushing some of these things forward? Well, yeah, we, we see more and more people uh, doing Kickstarter or Indiegogo campaigns so they're crowdfunding their products. We might see at some point some established company doing it. I mean, there is this issue that an established company is probably a little bit worried about it because if, the, if it doesn't work out, it's a bit of a PR disaster. But I think at some point, for maybe some new product lines that they are, they want to get some early feedback. I mean, some companies are maybe not going through Kickstarter, but they're you know announcing products and saying you know give us pre-orders and we'll you know and we'll. Uh... <laughs> what? No, they're trying to get pre-orders in yeah. a way, uh, as a way to. So I think we probably have to. Let's take a break from this. So okay. Otherwise, it's <laughs> we're gonna. We're, this line's gonna be a slow one. This line, they're gonna kill us. Yeah. We keep letting people squeeze All right, we'll be back in a little bit. Well, we made it to the front of the line. We ordered our coffee, and uh, <laughs> now we're just waiting for uh, Massimo's cappuccino. My soy latte is right here. But uh, right. yeah, so it's a. Uh, it's, it's going to be a, another crazy day, and then uh, yeah. after this, where do you head to next? 
I go back home because I have to go back to my students <laughs> who are waiting for me. We have to close this class I'm teaching on connected objects this week. So I'm going to go and play with their projects and it's going to be fun. That's great. That's super fun. And then uh, Maker Faire Rome, you're working on that again. Yeah. 2014. Uh, bigger and better than, 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 all, oh, than, yeah. than last year, which was a great show. Uh, I'm hoping to get 50,000 people this year. That's great. And we're looking at making Maker Week, so the whole week, not just three, four days like last year. So it's going to be huge. It's becoming a, like the point of reference for makers in Europe because we did yeah. spend a lot of time last year going around the different spaces in Europe to gather people, to get them to come over, and now we can build upon that. Yeah, awesome. Well, I'm excited about it. I definitely will be there no matter what. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go no matter what anyone says because uh, it's, it's a great show. Um, and, uh, and, and then, yeah, so I think we've, yours should be out in a minute, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to, is that yours, okay. Carmel Macchiato? That's, that's yours. I think that's me. All right. We well, made it. Yeah. Cheers. We got coffee. Cheers. And uh, see you next time with you next time. geeks in line to getting coffee. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Have fun. Sure. And I'll, I'll see you out there. Cool. Nice.